Okay, so we're back. So basically, I have it paused right now. It's an emulation thing. Basically, what happened is my friend's uh, tires got slashed, and so they needed me to drive them uh, one mile, one point one and a half miles, uh, to do a police report and go to the station and you know paperwork and stuff like that and insurance stuff. And because their tires are slashed, they can't you know drive their car. So I had to go. <laughs> it was like an emergency situation, so I normally don't. Just pause in the middle of the stream like that, but I went and helped them out really quick. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, let me just get back. So basically, I'm fighting Show Penguin right now. If if you're anyone's curious, it's, I'm, I'm gonna unpause it and then resume the uh, thing down here. Hold on. Let me, uh, okay, so here's the Show Penguin fight. So now we're back. Okay, so. So the whole plan of Chill Penguin, let me just let me just rehash it again. This Chill Penguin has a mechanic, a belly slide. He shoots chunks of ice, and he also summons a frost copy of um, himself, basically. The frost copies of himself move when he pulls the lever at the top there that causes a blizzard. And that is the whole uh, mechanic of the fight. And basically, you have to do this fight perfectly in order to um, kill Chill Penguin because basically if you look at his health bar he has way more health than us uh, and he does way more damage than us and so basically if it was just my health bar the same as his we, the fight would be over already but because uh, the boss is a little harder and stuff like that and I don't have his weakness yet because in this Mega Man game series, you play according to um, a, a, a certain boss order. And so I was trying to get to in the last video. Yeah, there's a certain boss order you do. And so I finally killed Joe Penguin. And when I kill Joe Penguin, he's going to give me his frost power now. Now that I have frost, it'd be a good idea to fight the fire boss next. Because frost, you know, is the weakness to fire. It does like four or five times more damage. Then my regular blaster. Limited resource. Okay, so I gotta just skip the screen. Okay, so here we go. We're doing Storm Eagles next. Eagles. Think of a grocery store. Storm Eagle next because the fire level has an interesting mechanic. Wow. <laughs> an interesting mechanic to it. In the fire level, there's lava on the ground, right? Lava is physically on the ground, and normally you have to do a platform hop from platform to platform. But if I beat Storm Eagle, Eagle, I'm never gonna say it. <laughs> Storm Eagle's level. If I beat Storm Eagle's level, the boss at the end of this level, the flying ship, will actually crash down and affect another level. Man, these claws are so annoying. You know these claws, the whole point of these claws is to grab you, take you over a gap, and then let go of you so you die. That is the whole goal of these claws. Oh, I don't miss you. This is like a mecha tank unit right here. And so, basically, see how there's like a different mechanics there? They have the missile, they have the regular shot, then they have the lightning on the ground. Depending upon how much damage they've received, depends upon what uh, skill they use, and also depending upon the the seed of the game, you know, the time, the exact second of the day affects what they start at. So their damaging skill might start at a different uh, number, and that different number will uh, let them start a different attack. But most times, people just uh, go through it because it's an extremely easy enemy to kill. So this, these enemies are actually pretty nice. The platforming part of the game is right here. And you pretty much have to uh, just kill the enemy in your way. Because otherwise if you jump on the platform, uh, it will cause uh, a damage uh, to your character. So this is the extra life I was talking about. You saw it's like my, my face, basically the Mega Man face. That life is only good as long as you don't restart your game. So, in this case, I won't be restarting, so it's actually useful. But if I were to, like, you enter a dev code, as I mentioned earlier, and then come back, the life would be pointless. So, I was checking for secrets down here. 
trying to remember. There's a certain area. I, th I don't know if I passed it or not already. I may just have to get go back and get it later. Because I know there's a certain area where you need the uh, helmet power-up. So this is uh, Stormingle's ship. I'm entering the, uh, the locks right here. I go down the lever. I take this drawbridge up. And this is what's interesting. The, uh, the ship itself destroys itself, so you have a battlefield to fight Storm Eagle. It's very strange how that that happens. I've never really seen that before, the, the battlefield itself destroyed, like a perfectly functioning ship. <laughs> just destroyed millions of dollars in damages just to <laughs> have a fighting field. So this fight is all about wind and movement, and so that's why on, we had to do Cho Penguin's level first. Because it's virtually impossible to do this level if you didn't pick up the power-up for the shoes in Show Penguin's level. Where you can slide quickly. See how I'm sliding across here, dodging... Oh, I got hit, but... Dodging the uh, Storm Eagle's attacks. And technically, if you can time a charge shot correctly, you can hit uh, Storm Eagle as he's flying through the, the, the dives from left to right. You can actually time the, sh the air dive shots and actually do damage when you're not supposed to. And when you're doing damage when you're not supposed to, uh, it's basically free hits. You can kill Storm Eagle so quickly. Like literally in like, I think it's like seven or eight passes, he's dead with seven charge shots. But right now I'm doing it the casual way where I'm just trying to just use the uh, P shooter. Do you see how the, it's a non-charged shot? And the green shooter where it's, um, it looks like a little a swab of toothpaste, I guess, coming out. <laughs> and uh, that's basically, was it two or three pea shooter shots? And basically every every tier of charge is like three more of the previous. And you do more and more and more damage. So it's very good. You accumulate more and more stuff. Oh gosh, that was close. You accumulate more and more and more. Here we go. So I'm hugging the left here because he's just going to keep using the wind to push me back. And so I have time to do some free shots here. He's so close to death. A fully charged shot should kill him right here, which is why I'm charging up. He's about seven or six, five, there you go. Right there. He's very close to death right there. Now this is another level where you could have got his weakness, Storm Eagle's weakness, but he again eats another easy level where it's just about mechanics. And if you just figure out the mechanic of the fight, uh, you can um, just, you know, uh, kill it with your blaster, and it's fine. And so now I got a couple of powers now. And you see how this is actually the elephant fight. It doesn't look like it, but you see how it's an elephant? From the trunk, Flame Moth over here, yeah? The trunk actually shoots out oil in this fight, spits it on the ground, which is quite interesting. And then the fire on the level itself will um well actually you see now you see how the level has ice that's because i killed chill penguin the ground is not magma anymore it is ice and so that helps and then the fire from the i was i got so distracted the fire from the trunk of uh flame mammoth he spits out fire and oil mm, nice you see that? That's basically at life increase. And basically it was impossible to get to. I'm never going to finish this. I know, I'm never going to finish it. <laughs> I keep getting so distracted. It's kind of hard to play this game and <laughs> talk at the same time. So that was an extra additional life on the fire. And then basically the flame mammoth fight. He shoots out oil with his trunk and then he spits out fire later. And he makes dangerous spots on the ground. And that's his gist. And you see right there, those little drops of acid right there. Very dangerous. For some reason, those are leaking right there, you know, and we take lots of damage. Oh, man. So I'm using the wind power here because it, uh, it goes past the shield mechanic of these guys. It just completely goes through it. So right now, I'm at the boss fight here, but... Look at my health bar. Very, very low. So, we kind of just sped through that level real quick. 
Here's Flame Mammoth. This is what I was talking about earlier. There's the trunk. He jumps. Wow. <laughs> he, uh, basically, I have an extra life, which is the what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to switch to my power-ups. There we go. And so, it didn't matter that I wasn't full HP getting into it. So he's going to basically, at the start, he's going to go in and jump. He does a bunch of short jumps. Then after short jumps, he's going to uh, put down... Okay. Just checking something. He's going to put down some oil on the ground and then shoot fire. And that's basically the gist of his mechanics. And the wind actually helps put the fire down. Like in this case. See, and this is him shooting fire. Right here. There we go. You see how I'm doing crazy damage because this wind is his weakness right here. You see how it actually is doing additional time to the boss fight. You see how the animation of the wind is actually very long length? Every second of that wind going through the boss is ticking damage again, damage again, damage again. And so it just destroys his health bar. But it updates. The health bar updates very slowly. It doesn't update immediately like a damage over time effect. So it just shows a huge chunk of damage uh, missing. So this is the next fight. Electricity. We just call him Spark or Sparky. Here's Electricity. This is the boss fight that we fought Stormingo for. And the goal of this fight was normally this level would have Electricity flowing through it and make the level a lot harder. But because Storm Eagle's ship landed on this level, so the power supply, I guess, of this level. The electricity is no longer flowing uh, in this level. And because of that, it's going to make um, the fight easier. And so, because I have fire here, these enemies just get obliterated. Fire is kind of like your highest DPS skill in the game. Alright, so here's the toughie. This thing can actually uh, trap you in his little bubbles right here. And try to drain your health. And so, it's actually an underwater creature. Oh man, that was really close. It's actually an underwater creature. And the underwater creature is in a water bubble. Which is uh, quite strange, to be honest with you. There we go. So I ran out of fire, so I just had to use some wind to do some last minute damage. Now the hope here is I find a, an enemy that's going to give me a blue orb. And this blue orb will recharge my um, my special power bar. You see right now? You see right now? I have a, uh, a meter for wind, but my fire meter is actually empty. And so this blue orb is charging it. Once I find one. See right now that's just health. And it's almost like certain death. <laughs> it like, wasn't even worth going down there. And you see how the enemy is back again. That was the mechanic I talked about a little while ago. Where every second of walking through this level is actually... The game treats it as if this is your first time ever going to. Because again, there's no saves. The game can't save that you've uh, even entered this portion of the level. It doesn't save anything. So, if I go back and forth, back and forth, it will actually, um, well, I think I have more life here. Yeah, one more life because of the extra one up. It will actually, uh, not remember it. So now, basically the exact same enemies I fought already, it's, it doesn't save it. So, oh, we got lucky. We're going to go through it as if this is our first time again, the enemies. Normally in modern games, like the enemies would, um, oh, where was that earlier? That was a full heal, essentially. Oh, perfectly timed. You see how I started the attack off screen, and then when it later came on screen, when because I moved over, side scrolled it over, it gave me the, um, oh man, I got hurt, that was a lot of damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we're going up here. It gave me the heal and stuff, and power up. Okay, so right here, we have to be very careful, because the same thing that gives us... Oh, here we go, jackpot. 
the same thing that gives us a light source is actually the same thing that is hurting us. It's a give and take. And now, uh, here's the part of the level. Oh god, this enemy is so annoying. I used an ice mechanic here. Here's the boss fight now. Here we go. Alright, so we got Sparky over here. Here's see why He literally looks like he's wearing Christmas lights. So this is why I got Chill Penguin. I actually freeze him. And you see how the frost bounces off the wall because I charged the shot a little. Bounces off the wall and the backsplash freezes him. Bounce off the wall one time. If I hit him directly, it does more damage. But it won't freeze him. And so now, alright, that was much easier. You see how the boss fights go a lot quicker and a lot easier because of the power-ups. You have this power-up, you have that power-up. The fight just, you know, flies by. Alright, go away. There we are. I'm just checking. Good, good. And here we go, next level. I'm Armadillo over here. This one is actually interesting. You can actually do this one after Chill Penguin as well. This is one you could do. But because the, we waited and did the lightning boss first, Armor Armadillo, the armor on the Armor Armadillo actually gets destroyed if you, um, well, that's unfortunate. If you uh, use lightning on it. And so that way, uh, with the armor gone, it's a million times easier to kill him because basically he has armor to def like deflect his damage 100%. And right now we're in a cave. It doesn't really look like it. Kind of just looks like um, a well-structured level, but this kind of looks like it. this is a mining machine right here. And the whole point, reason I'm shooting this thing right here is I'm trying to. Um, kill it. And perfect. And if I go back this way, I believe, yep, here it is. Yep, game has secrets. And that was basically an E-Tank. And as I gain health, I charge it. So because I've maxed out my current health bar, it is now charging towards my E tank. Oh my god. And now I got the blue orb there, which gave me more special ability meter. Okay, perfect. This is a great way. These bats are a great way to charge E tanks. It's like the best enemy to charge an E tank for some reason. Wow, I'm just not having the good luck today. <laughs> Normally you're supposed to hop on that and you, uh, the cart itself will actually kill the enemies. But because I uh, kind of missed the train, you know, <laughs> I have to um, manually. You see how the road bumps up and down, up and down? It would have killed all these miners. I wouldn't even have to kill them. And it would have ended about here and I would have jumped. And then after the jump, I go for the next cart. I'm gonna use wind power. Oh no, I guess I guess actually fire fires has higher DPS. Yep, you can see the difference between fire DPS and wind DPS. Now that gives me more meter. My health bar is actually bigger now. So, oh man. All right. I can, I don't think I can miss this train actually because if I miss it, I couldn't even get to the boss fight. They actually now these birds are actually showing you um the way to get the boss fight right here, and then you jump a little. And then, secret right here is the, um, if you jump, there's a little health. And that health kind of, like, helps your character. But there's also a super late game secret. What is it called? I think it's called the Hadouken or something. Where you get a gun that one-shots every enemy. So I'm using a Spark. Here we go. 
and so there's my sub tank on the left there, the little blue. He's now shocked. His armor is now off. And now that his armor is off, he has a annoying mechanic where he just fires. I'm going to use a little bit of the E-Tank here. Fires this shot off a million times. I basically have to be patient here and follow his mechanical rotation. Now, interesting enough, did you see how his shot stopped doing damage to me after the boss uh, died? That's an interesting. A lot of games don't do that. A lot of games today, modern games, they let the damage continue, but back then, they just uh, cut it off. <laughs> so now we're like making really good progress uh, through the boss. That's the game kind of teaching you, and there's the save code. So now we got three bosses left, it looks like. This is the, um, what was his name again? He had a weird name. Boomerang. Oh, bo Boomer. <laughs> yeah, Boomer, that's it. So, well, we're making good progress here. Now, don't think, this is the, if this was the end of the game, like these, um, the bosses, just the boss fights, That'd be a short game. The game, I think, would be like 30 or 40 minutes if you just did like the boss fights to get the power-ups. The actual fight, the late game fight of this game, after you get the boss power-ups, is like the same length of the time it takes you uh, to get the power-ups from the bosses. <laughs> it's actually really curious. And so, this is the laser grid right here. And basically how it works is you could, A, just sprint through it and be, who cares if you get shot at by the automated turrets. Which if you got went to Cho Penguins level, that makes this a lot easier. Or B, wait for the laser timer. And then when you wait on the timer, they don't actually fire unless you cross the red beam that appears. But because the damage can be anticipated, it's easier to sprint through it. Now this is a uh, actually hard if you um, don't this is your first time doing it. There's uh, little spikes right here, and this actually gets faster and faster, and the enemies uh, come at you rapidly. And what's interesting enough is, look, it's just slowed down a little right there. It's trying to mess with you. But when the enemies come, you can uh, actually get hit by them and come immune to damage for a second, and avoid being crushed by the, the platform. Oh god, here we go. There we are. And there we go. Kill that. I leap off the extended platform to the next platform. Okay, and then it helps me climb to the next one. You see we're climbing a tower here, if you can't tell. We just went up a platform, now we're climbing a tower. Oh, bro. Shoot, bro. <laughs> the biggest yawn ever. And up and up we climb. Now up here there's an extra life. And uh, you could uh, wait and get it later. Or if you're really good at your mechanics, you could jump out and back and try to clip on the edge there. Which usually takes like 15 to 18 minutes. Or you could come back and use a power up. And with the, uh, wow, I just ran away. With the power up, grab it instantly. So there's a lot of replayability in these levels, like the power ups. Come, come and go, basically. Alright, so here we go. This is the boss fight. So we basically went through the whole level now. Here's the boss fight. Now this boss fight involves, he's actually a telekinesis boss. And the best way to deal with him is actually the uh, the chameleon power. But right now I'm trying to do the fight with uh, the fire power. Which is actually a lot harder. The chameleon power actually animation stuck him. 
See how he's like appearing and disappearing and appearing again? Yes. You see how like I almost went through him right there? You see that? But it was, uh, it didn't happen. He's actually like, like kind of like a Pokemon. He's literally like teleporting. So I'm gonna do a, a charge to hit here. And you see how that power, when it hits the wall, it spreads and does additional damage. This is actually the harder way to fight him. The chameleon power would be so much easier. Oh my god, he's he, he's all over the place. Oh god. Oh, the boomerang got me on the return. I believe I've grabbed an extra life on the way up, so yeah, I should just start with full HP this time. Yeah, here we go. Let's start with lightning this time instead of fire. But my limited abilities... I don't replenish, unfortunately. So here we go. Well. Actually, is this charge shot doing more damage than the... <laughs> I think it is. Charge shot. It's doing way more damage than the powers themselves. Oh my god. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Okay, let's do something new here. This is my... X Buster is basically your gun, and that's like my charge shot, basically. You you always have that, basically. But you can see how weak those powers were compared to your charge shot. Oof, man. This boss is trying to animation lock you. That's why he like grabs you with the horns there, and then flips you up. Okay, let's uh, E tank this. Good, get a little bit more HP. If I can get a charge hit, that's good. Might be able to beat it this time. Oh, I just the wrong way. Oh, so close. Yeah, these fights require you to play them perfectly. Literally, if you only get maybe like one or two mistakes in these fights, these games from like, these older games from 1993, there's like no second, third, fifth, tenth chance you know, there's no easy button. You get like one or two mistakes, and then you're dead. And so, ooh, I should have should have jumped earlier. And you saw that one mistake took out like what? Two mistakes took out like almost 40% of my health. There, it's like crazy. Oh, I canceled his attack. Nice. Oh man, he's charged into me. Oh, this is so difficult. Oof. These older games, um, basically, there's no easy button. There, there is cheat codes, I guess. But the cheat codes back then were not meant to be cheat codes. They were actually meant to be save states. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, you're watching. These fights are harder than they actually appear. Hopefully, I should get it this time. Kind of like a learning curve. There we are. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, the thing on the side. Yeah, you see all the watermelons? Yeah, yeah. That is because the game is actually, um... Producing a like a 360p quality like that that was the highest quality that the game produced that was 1993 that was like the 1080p So like today everyone's like oh couldn't you put the game in 1080p yeah that was the 1080p and so now Otherwise on the sides there would just be black emptiness So I just put watermelons there instead to kind of like fill the screen to make the uh, the 1080p because technically it's, um, the game just is not producing an image there. And to make it, like, fit better on, like, the, on the Gap TV and stuff like that, is, the, you know, the 1080p, is you just put, like, a, a little animated element there, <laughs> too. Yeah. Come on. 
Oof. Oh, he's phasing in and out. He's actually dodging my attacks. Come on. I'm just, I'm just, I'm like so focused right here. I'm literally one hit away from dying. Oh my, I'm actually one hit away from dying. Okay. Oh, perfectly timed. He was juking my attacks. Every little jump where he went invisible, he was un-targetable. Oh, that fight was one of the harder ones. Oof. Man, I'm so relieved I <laughs> killed that fight. That fight was actually way harder. Chill Pig one was a joke compared to that fight. So there's the save code. Alright, here's Chameleon. Chameleon should be... I think that was the hardest one of them all, really. He kept staying Chameleon. I think that was the hardest one of them all. I should have Sting Chameleon's uh, weakness now, which is a fight I just um, killed. It's like the boomerang power. I can actually uh, get the bosses glitched. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> oh. Oh my. <sighs> there we go. Alright, we got the firepower, which is the best uh, short range DPS skill. It pretty much has the highest DPS in the game. Now, I think it's down here, yes. Thanks to my leg power. See, this wall over here is destructible because of my leg power. Okay. And I'm dead. What I think I need to do here is use, um,. Show Penguin's power, charge it up, make an ice platform that's gonna slide. Remember Show Penguin, he had, a, he had that blizzard thing, he could make the ice sculptures move to the side. So I'm gonna try that now. Make ice sculpture, but in our case, it's gonna make a, an ice platform. Oh, excuse me. My God, I'm gonna get hit by everything, but oh well. And basically, it's down here is another power up. All right. My cat. Yes, cat. How are you doing? Okay. Here we go, here we go. Right, don't be annoying now. There's an extra life. There we go, here's the mega suit, and it can slide because of the choking one power. And what you can do is actually slide on me. <laughs> There's the heal. The mega suit does actually have HP. You see how getting hit by the mecha suit doesn't hurt my actual health bar. So I can skip past all these enemies. There we go. It has its own personal health bar. So here it is, boomerang power. <sighs> Excuse me. This is the boss. I uh, just fall. I got his boomerang power. I can uh, throw the boomerang, and you know, interesting enough how boomerangs work is they come back to you, right? Unless it physically hits the boss, it, it'll come back to you, and you like don't actually waste your power. So right here, I'm trying to get a hit on this boss. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for this. Yep. There's a phase I'm gonna have to wait for. Should be up right here now, I can. 
I'm gonna do lots of damage. And if I could hit him with a boomerang right there, I could knock him out of this phase. But that will require a, a charge shot. I'm trying to do it without. You can technically charge up and get an enhanced version of this shot. And with that enhanced version... Oh, he got me. And it's true enough is if you actually paid attention to the Mega Man, the character, as his uh, health bar gets lower, he becomes more and more out of breath. See right now, he, he seems fine, he's like sitting there. But watch my health bar, as it gets lower, Mega Man will actually breathe harder and harder because he's like getting weakened, like in a weakened state. It's just a little small thing that uh, I guess most people wouldn't pay attention to. Ugh. See, it finally did it right. He's hanging on by his little tongue there, but the boomerang cuts it, and so ends his mechanic. And that's what I was... Got it. And then if I cut the tongue, here we go. Now this one, you just have to... He just went invisible. Oof. This is rough. Come on. Now the falling spikes there, those actually do hurt you, yeah. Yep, they do, definitely. You know, I'm sorry. I really should stop reading chat. <laughs> the daring of fight. <laughs> I'm trying to like, uh, do both, you know. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just yawning. Yawn, yawn, yawning. Don't mind me. I don't know why I'm so tired. I actually slept in today, I think. Like, I stayed up late, but, you know, you, like, slept in and got, like, those extra hours you wouldn't normally have. You stayed up late. Like, I didn't, like, get up at, like, 8 a.m. early. And then didn't get to sleep. It's where I, I stayed up late, but I slept in later. And so you would think, um... You'd be fine. But it seems like even if you sleep in, you're just still tired. More and more tired. I guess. <sighs> oh, so I guess it's the um Because you're not on a schedule or something. Yeah, it was because of um I was watching one of my uh, favorite streamers, uh, Star Smitten. She was doing her, uh, they're in like Japan right now. And she was doing like, it was like, I guess they're taking turns or something. And it was like her turn. And I like love her content, like her and um, X Chocobars. They um, basically did like this collab a while back called like We Were Here Forever. And I like, I was staying up late watching the collab and then as I like finished it, as I saw them uh, uh, beat it, I then uh, saw the uh, the Japan stream started. And I'm like, oh, let me turn this on. And as you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh man. It was like they finished like so late, 3:30, or I guess like 3:30 or 4 p.m. Japan time, and you can like convert it to whatever uh, time zone you're in. Yeah, I think it's like 10 hour difference uh, for West Coast and like 13 hour difference for East Coast and so just um, adjust your time accordingly I guess. so whatever time would be and so they were streaming in it and oh man it was it was the best it was the best